So Jeremy, what's new about this exhibition? Um, it's interesting because the new exhibition actually engages a lot of works that are perhaps not new, but we're showing them in a different way. So what we've got in this room is we've got works from the Usher Gallery collections, but we're showing them alongside works that we've borrowed, which are new to Lincoln, but not necessarily new. So we've got works from the Tate Gallery in London, and we've got works from the Arts Council collection from London as well. And we're showing those with our permanent collection, and that's what's new. And that is a theme that is running through the whole gallery. So it's more about creating a sort of overall image rather than individual pieces of work? You, you, you've got it spot on, that's exactly right, it is. What we wanted to make sure was we wanted to make sure that when people came into this gallery, which had been closed for a year, that when they came in, they weren't coming into the same kind of space that they came into before. We wanted people to come in and feel, wow, this is different. And um, we didn't have a lot of money to actually spend on the inside of the building, so all we had to focus on was what could we show on the walls and how could we show it. So we worked with um, a guy called Edward Allington. He's a professor of postgraduate sculpture at the Slade in London and a very, very successful and eminent sculptor himself. And he helped us work with the Tate and the Arts Council and he looked at our own collections and we curated the whole gallery with, with him. And, um, I like to think it's going to be successful, you know, and it's a, it's a process that I think we can probably work on next time round because we, the, we, we're, we're rather hopeful that the Tate, who are here tonight, are pleased with what we've done with our work, but they'll let us borrow more works next year. Obviously this artist had a sense of humour. So you're an international sculpture, what's your reaction to the new exhibition? Part of it is very good because it should be, as it is, a mixed show. So you're going to look at what's happening in the contemporary world, really, but not necessarily by professional painters, which is very interesting. Excuse me, you seem quite enthralled in this picture. Why is that? Well, it seems to be that it's one of probably the first portraits ever done of Vincent van Gogh by somebody other than himself. And also, I think it's the only full-length one of him in existence. So it's actually quite interesting because all the things that are on this, he's, he's painted himself as well. So he's painted these boots, he's painted people in the rolled up trousers, he did the crumpled top hat in, the, in 1886 as well. The Bible is possibly the one that he did in 1885 that his father gave him and he was very interested in writing. He was known to use a quill when other people were using a pen and you know there's just so much that tells you so much about him his messy lifestyle was one that annoyed his brother and that's who he was staying with at the time so it's like just a very very interesting picture so all the aspects of this piece are all things that have been painted by himself then at some point it seems to be that a lot of these i mean he's done one of a desk that's got books all over it as well so he was also known for possibly writing on his walls and, well, he, he did, he annoyed his landlords from do, for doing that, pinning pictures up. So everything depicts truthfully what his lifestyle was. So what sort of role does Usher Gallery currently play in Lincolnshire at the moment? Well, I think the renewal of the Usher Gallery with the new entrance and the new hang is a wonderful moment of seeing this collection, both contemporary and historic, in a new light. So I think it's a great moment. And what sort of people do you think the new exhibition will attract to the gallery? Well, I'm very pleased to be responsible for the National Portrait Gallery for bringing the BP Portrait Award here to Lincoln. Um, I think the great thing about portraiture, painted portraiture, is it just brings in anybody. Because, you know, all of us can look at a portrait, we all know what people look like. And in a sense, I think we, you know, there are every different style of portrait is there. So I hope that people will come and, you know, debate it. They won't like every portrait. But what I think they'll enjoy is seeing, you know, portraits of every kind of person in every kind of style. So I, I hope they love it. Thank you.